India Today spoke to former Solicitor General and former Chief of Police of British Columbia who claim that what's floating around are allegations and that there is no evidence. Listen in. We've now once again tarnished the reputation of South Asians here in Canada. We went through this years okay. ago, as I mentioned, with the Air India bombing. We went through a conflict here in British Columbia with the moderates and fundamentalists fighting for uh, Gurdwaras and control over them and what we were Is that happening do. again that now? Is that happening we again now? Seen, we haven't seen it so far, but I remember being actively involved in trying to ensure that there's peace and harmony within our community. And this, you know, may raise itself again. I hope not. But, you know, when we, okay. we create so much conflict and we start looking at those religious beliefs and put that in front of what the law of the land is, we should be very, very concerned of where this is going to go and how it's going to tarnish the reputation of South Asians here in Canada and elsewhere around the world. So just one last question. You mentioned that uh, the, the, with regard to the investigation itself, just uh, a last comment from you as a former police chief and solicitor general. How do you see the investigation that has been conducted in this uh, Niger case so far? Because that has created a lot of this conflict, whether it is within communities in uh, Canada or if it is between India and Canada. Well, let me tell you, the law enforcement officers that are investigating this will do their work. They will come up with uh, the evidence they need, hopefully, to lead to charges against some of the individuals involved. If we're talking about a larger conspiracy, it may take some time to do that. But I have confidence in our law enforcement officers that they will do what they're sworn to do uh, in their communities and respecting the laws here in Canada. I don't have as much confidence in our political bodies. Now, amid the ongoing diplomatic war between Canada and India, the United States has said India-Canada tensions are concerning. Further added that they are in talks with Canadian partners. Listen in. I want to ask you about India-Canada relationship. What impact this is going to have on U.S.-India relationship? Uh, so I made comments on this yesterday. I can restate them here, uh, which is that uh, we are obviously um, uh, quite concerned about the situation in Canada. We've uh, cooperated co uh, closely with our Canadian counterparts, um, uh, and we have uh, urged India to cooperate in that investigation, and will continue to do so. And India remains uh, an important partner of the United States. We work with them on a number of issues, but of course, we uh, on this matter, we urge them to cooperate with the Canadian investigation. So can Hindu group urges Trudeau to ban Panoon from Canadian soil, raising strong objection to Khalistani terrorist Gurpantwant Singh Panoon's hate speech. The Hindu Forum in Canada has sought a ban on his entry into Canadian territory. The Canada-based Hindu group alleged that Panoon spread fear among Hindus and Indians living in Canada, highlighting the fact that Panoon is a declared terrorist and his outfit SFJ seeks for justice, a banned organization in India. Hindus have urged the Canadian administration to deem Panoon inadmissible into Canada. The Hindu group also highlighted a recent video by Panoon where he threatened all Indo-Canadian Hindus to leave Canada. Panoon has been accused of supporting violent extremism in Canada. Earlier, Canadian MP Chandra Arya also raised Panoon's hatred and how Hindus feel threatened and targeted on Canadian soil. The Hindu Forum has asked, uh, taken the step of sending a legal no, uh, letter to the Ministry of Immigration pointing out what Gurpatwan Singh Pannu has said and its impact on the Indo-Canadian community in general. What is happening within the communities? Is there, are we really seeing a rift between the Sikhs and the Hindus in Canada? Um, I don't think there's, there's a, on, on a broader scale, there is a rift between the, the common um, Hindu and a Sikh um, within Canada. However, there is a minority within minority which uh, which has been on the, you know, uh, on the attack on Hindus and uh, that is where the problem is and that is why we have written a letter to the uh, minister and we, have, uh, we are requesting the government to um, 
you know, uh, stop uh, this hate which is going on against the Hindu community in Canada. Few days back, Khalistan Movement leader in Canada and President of Sikhs for Justice, which organizes the so-called referendum, Gurpatwan Singh Pannon, attacked Hindu Canadians, asking us to leave Canada and go back to India. I have heard from many Hindu Canadians who are fearful after this targeted attack. I urge Hindu Canadians to stay calm but vigilant. Please report any incident of Hindu phobia to your local law enforcement agencies. The Khalistan movement leader is trying to provoke Hindu Canadians to react and divide the Hindu and Sikh communities in Canada. Let me be clear vast majority of our Canadian Sikh brothers and sisters do not support Khalistan movement. Most Sikh Canadians may not publicly condemn the Khalistan movement for several reasons, but they are deeply connected to the Hindu Canadian community. Canadian Hindus and Sikhs are connected through family relationships and shared social and cultural ties. This direct attack on Hindu Canadians by the leader of Canadian Khalistan movement is further escalation of the recent attacks on Hindu temples and public celebration of the assassination of Hindu Prime Minister Indira Gandhi by terrorists.